The Capellan Confederation was one of the last alliances to be created during the 24th century. It was formed from the wreckage of the Capellan Commonality in July of 2366 as a temporary measure to defend those states against the Davian incursion. The Confederation was composed of the states of Tikhonov, Sarna, Sian, and St. Ives, along with some independent worlds. To lead them through the crisis, the member states selected Duke Franco Liao, the ruler of a small, water-poor mining world that bore his surname. An astute politician, Franco Liao presented himself to the leaders of the other states as a man who had only their best interests of heart, and not one interested in maintaining dictatorial power. Once in control, however, Franco ruthlessly held on to the power for himself and for his family. Franco's heir were soon entrenched as hereditary rulers of the Confederation. They achieved this by shrewdly playing on the fears of each member state, gradually infiltrating each opposing royal household with members of their own prolific brood. Descendants of family Liao eventually took over the ducal thrones of Xi'an, Chrysum, and seven other worlds, thus assuming their continued rule. From the earliest days, the Capellans have battled with their neighbours, the Free Worlds League. The First Andurian War, launched by the Confederation in 2396, heralded an age of war across the whole inner sphere, and disputes over other border worlds frequently fled into full-scale conflict between the two. The Capellan forces usually came out on the short end, a pattern that repeated across many centuries. It was Chancellor Alicia Liao who proposed the Ares Conventions in 2412 after the Tinterval Massacre. These conventions sought to protect civilians and property from the ravages of modern warfare. Under her leadership, the major ruling houses, the Terran Hegemony, and two periphery states signed an 80-page document that protected civilians and property from the ravages of modern warfare. After the adoption of the conventions, warfare over the next century and a half became increasingly ceremonial, an artistic exercise rather than an all-consuming act of destructiveness. But the Ares conventions also led to the acceptance of warfare as a means of settling disputes between states, an attitude that resulted in the horrors of the First Succession War, when the conventions were completely ignored. Since the start of the Succession Wars in 2786, the Confederation has lost almost three quarters of its original territories and most of its most valuable systems to House Davian and House Marek. Maximilian Liao's signing of the Concord of Captain allied his people to the Draconis Combine and their traditional enemy, House Marek, against the budding Steiner Davian Alliance. But, Chancellor Liao's aborted Operation Doppelganger to substitute a clone for Hansa Davian resulted in Hansa Davian turning most of his military might against the Confederation, rather than against Kirita during the Fourth Succession War. The end of the Fourth Succession War saw the annexation of Sana and Tikhonov by the Federated Commonwealth, giving houses Steiner and Davian a sizable corridor of worlds to connect their two states, and the secession of the St. Ives Compact, a new state that is very friendly to the Steiner Davians. Chancellor Liao was driven mad and subsequently committed suicide. The mantle of the shattered realm fell to his daughter, Romano Liao. Yet, Romano Liao managed to forge the remains of the Capellan Confederation into a rock solid core of fanatic warriors willing to die rather than lose any more Confederation territory to the Marek or Davian devils. Their remarkable defence against attacks by the Endurian and Canopus forces just a year after being defeated by Hans's forces were proof of this. The Inner Sphere has left the Capellans alone since then and even during the clan invasion, most house leaders breathed a sigh of relief when Romano refused to aid in the defence. With the recent assassination of Romano Liao, Sun Tzu Liao has succeeded his mother as Chancellor. He immediately formed an alliance of the Free Worlds League to be consummated with his marriage to Isis Marek, heir designate to the Captain Generalcy of the realm. The combination of the Marek industrial base joined to the power lust of the Liaos has given many house leaders pause. They cannot help but wonder, if this union between the two great houses will bring sweeping changes, like the interstellar war that accompanied the famous Steiner and Davian marriages over 20 years prior. <laughs>